what's up and today i'm going to be showing you how to install minecraft forge for any version of minecraft and uh, this is a mod installer if you didn't know uh, mostly every mod requires forge so uh, it is a very popular request um so yeah this is a updated version of my most popular video uh, if you are here from there then i do apologize uh, for the sudden change in voice frequency so to speak uh, but yeah uh, this is what you want to do to install it so firstly you want to have the latest version of java installed so you just want to go to java and then just basically download it uh, you should probably have the latest version uh, but yeah just in case i would just check for updates and install the latest version of java so once you have that uh, you want to go to the mod you want to install uh, and then you sh there should be a place where you can find what version of Forge it requires. Uh, usually it'll just be the update, uh, the actual mods on. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard to find out. But uh, yeah, basically once you found out your version, uh, if the mod's for, let's just, for uh, easy sake, let's just use the latest version of Forge, so it's for 1.11, uh, so we're going to select 1.11.2, which is the latest version, and uh, then depending on the mod, in general cases, it'll say to download the recommended version, uh, and then sometimes it will say to use the latest, I would definitely recommend using the recommended, no pun intended, uh, but yes, uh, so once you've picked the version you want to install, you want to click on installer-win. Uh, if you are on Mac, you want to click on installer. Uh, so yeah, pick your version and then click it. Once you have clicked it, it will take you to add focus. And you just want to wait five seconds at the top here. And once it's done, it'll say skip. And you just want to click that. And that is going to start installing. Alrighty, so once it's done, you want to drag it to the desktop. Alright, uh, you want to drag it to the desktop and then just like that you should have Forge Installer on your desktop. Again, if you are on Mac, it'll just, it'll look at a bit different, but uh, you still just double click on it. It'll just be a Java file. So, once you've done that, uh, you want to just double click it, just like that. And uh, that is going to open up this. You will also notice that there is a log file on your desktop and uh, you can delete that uh, once you've installed Forge. Alrighty, once you are here, you want to tick on install client and this is a choice you have to make. Uh, basically, if you just read it here, it sends statistics uh, from your Minecraft game to the developers of Forge. Uh, so, basically the only downside is, uh, well, they're sort of collecting data off you. Uh, it shouldn't really matter. Um, so yeah, I'd tick that. Uh, and then press OK, and that will install Forge. So you just want to wait for that to load. All right, so once it's installed, it'll say complete, and then you can just press OK. And now you have installed Forge, you can get the log file and also the installer, and just throw it in the trash, just like that. Alrighty, so once you've installed it, uh, you want to open Minecraft, and now you will notice that uh, besides the play, uh, you will see an arrow here, and you want to click that. And uh, now you will see two versions. So you'll have your usual version you just play with uh, and that'll generally, unless you've done some modding before, be the latest version of Minecraft and then you should have the other version which is your Forge version which is the one we just installed. So to play with the Forge version you simply select it and then press play and now we are running the Forge version so any mods we have installed uh, will only be run on this version. Alright, so once the Forge version has fully loaded, uh, it may also take quite a bit. Uh, I do have a good computer, so it did take fairly quick. But, uh, you know, if you do have a semi-shit computer, it may take a while. Um, but yeah, uh, so if you go to the Mods tab here, which you will see uh, has been created. Uh, so that's part of Forge, obviously. So if you click on that, uh, you will see... The uh, general mods, it has just uh, generally added. So you have Minecraft. Uh, don't really know why that's a mod, but uh, 
yeah, then you have the Minecraft Coder Pack, Forge Mod Loader, Minecraft Forge, and then the thing you ticked here. Uh, so yeah, that's how you know it works. Uh, obviously then the next step is to install the actual mod you're after. Uh, I won't be showing you that because uh, that's what all my other tutorials are for. Uh, so you can obviously check them out. Uh, um, but yeah, I hope it did work. Uh, if it didn't, and uh, believe me, there will be a lot of you, uh, please, please make sure of the following before asking or before commenting. Uh, firstly, make sure you have the latest version of Java, Java because that is a very, very common error. Uh, so please make sure you have the latest version of Java. Secondly, make sure you don't have any mods installed. And I know that's a bit of a weird thing to say, but if you come to me saying that your forge doesn't work and you have mods installed, uh, well, mods can obviously cause Forge to crash, so that's just, you know, it's not a problem of this video, uh, that's a problem of the actual mod itself, so, uh, do not complain if you have a mod installed and it doesn't work, obviously I can still help you with that, but just maybe, uh, contact me or, you know, don't directly comment it on this video. Uh, and then thirdly, I will probably be doing a video addressing common, other common issues uh, regarding Forge, because obviously my most uh, viewed video is on Forge, and uh, I want to help as many people as possible. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, I hope it did work, again, if it doesn't, uh, please follow those instructions, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all later.